Hey YouTube, I'm Jade from Hackney Barkers and I have my very own dirty dog Azalea here. Today we're going to show you how to wash your dog at home. Let's go! Okay, so there's two things that you have to do before you get your doggy in the bath. There's nothing worse than not being prepared and you've got your anxious dog waiting. So step one is doing your shampoo. So read the back of your bottle because the one that you might have you might not need to dilute, but I do. So I've gone ahead and prepared mine already. So I fill it up with warm water and then I pop some shampoo inside and I give it a mix. Second is the water. So there's things that we have to watch out for is the water pressure and the temperature. So I like to have my water a little bit warmer than lukewarm and the way that I test it is on the inside of my wrist. Second is the water pressure. So I always have mine with a mist, not too hard. So if you have a, your shower that doesn't have adjustable pressure settings, you can always take off the head and just use the nice gentle hose water that comes out from there. Okay, so now it's time to get the dogs and also I have a pocket full of her favorite treats. Say thank <laughs> so loads of praise, loads of love, loads of treats. Let's get bathing. Always turn my water on away from the dog first. And also always check your pressure, your water temperature before it goes on the doggy. So if you have an anxious dog, I like to place the shower head quite close to the body so that they feel the warmth of the water rather than the water trickling. <laughs> you can see that she's very calm. So you want to make sure that your dog is all wet on the body. Now moving on to the head. If you have a dog with ears that stay up, what you want to do is put your hands behind and hold them down and wet the back of the head first and then push back. When doing the head as well, I like to hold the ears down, do the top of the head and go back. I like to also place my hand on top of the muzzle, gently holding and gently tilting her head down, and then I go over and back. That way there is minimal water going along the muzzle. So every brachycephalic dog, so short nosed muzzle, like Frenchies or Bulldogs, what I like to use is a face cloth. So never saturate the face of a short nosed dog. So what I do is I wet a whole towel, face towel, and wipe along the face. I get in between the folds and in the salon we use our very own specialized wrinkle wash. Okay so now it's time to shampoo. So starting with the body first, get a lather up. Kick. Reapply when necessary all along the feet. If you have an anxious dog in the bath it's best to take things slow rather than doing it fast. The reason is because I know I understand you want to get it over and done with quickly because they don't like it, but it's actually a lot better if you do things whilst they're calm because then they have a positive association with bathing rather than quickly and being anxious about it. So make sure that you wash all the body and now we're doing the head. So the head is the last two shampoo because you don't want the shampoo to sit on the face for too long. So same way, I'm gonna place it on top of the head. Massage it in. And bringing it along the muzzle and in between the ears. So we are using dog safe shampoo, of course. However, we try to avoid the eyes where possible. If you do get some shampoo into the eyes, just wipe it away. So she obviously hasn't got a hairy face, but what you would do is place the shampoo inside your palm of your hand and rub it along the muzzle. Or if you have obviously a bigger dog, then you can just pour it along the muzzle and massage it in. You don't want to get shampoo inside the ear, but you do definitely want a clean face because that's where we kiss the most. Okay, so now that we've done that, the face is the first to rinse off. So again, 
checking our water pressure and water temperature. And the same way that we applied the water is the same way that we are going to remove the shampoo. So holding the ears down from the behind and back. And back. And back. Wipe away. Along the muzzle, down the throat. So the first rinse off isn't so important because in the salon, we've re shampooed twice, so we're gonna repeat the process. If you're only gonna do one shampoo and one rinse off, then you have to make sure you get all of your shampoo off in the first rinse. Okay, so we've done our two shampoos and our rinses. We've also applied a conditioner as well, just to soften the hair and make it extra shiny. And then a third and final rinse. So now it's time to get her towel dried. So when towel drying your dog, you want to make sure that you pat the hair rather than rub. So pat and squeeze off any excess, gently squeeze, <laughs> uh, any excess water. So the, what you don't want to do is rub because when you rub, unless it's a smooth coat dog, then you're going to create knots and that's one thing that we do not want. So you want to pat and push. Okay, so one of the main causes for knotting in dog's coats is leaving them damp after a towel dry or from the rain. So you want to make sure that you brush and dry your dogs after they have been wet in the rain or from your bath. So follow our next video where we will show you how to brush your dog out and dry using a hairdryer.